Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read unit number 7, Home Sweet Home from Oxford Modern English 6. First of all, words to know. Accompaniment. Music that is played with someone who is playing the main tune. Adorn. Decorated. Beautified. August. Struck by horror and amazement. Ambled. Strolled. Walked slowly. Disbelievingly, in a manner suggesting a refusal to believe. Emerged, came out of, came into view. Embers, small pieces of glowing wood or coal in a dying fire. Forlornly, sadly, wretchedly, and desperately. Irritable, easily irritated or annoyed, jangling, a harsh metallic sound, jovially, marked by hearty good cheer, cheerfully, muffle, to, to stifle, to deaden, percussion, a section of an orchestra consisting of instruments that can be struck such as drums, tambourines, scuttled, ran hurriedly, squared, snorting, making a sound by forcing air through the nostrils quickly, tambourine, a musical instrument consisting of a drum head and small metal discs fixed in the sides, turmoil, confusion, in a state of upheaval. Now come to the reading. Anton, Lona, Janku shouted angrily to his son and daughter. Stop beating that drum and clanging that chamberine. Pull them away in your cupboard immediately and put away those other twice too before I trip over them. The children looked gloomy. However, they stopped the music and carried the instruments to their cupboard in the corner of the room. Janku had been trying to read the newspaper and the noise of his nine-year-old son's drumming and his seven-year-old daughter's accompaniment on the tambourine had given him a headache and made him irritable. Although the drumming and jangling had stopped, Aunt and Alona, being obedient children, the throbbing in Janku's temples continued. It felt as if the percussion section of a large orchestra still played at its loudest in his head. Janko's wife, Monika, emerged from the kitchen and entered the living room. Monika was small, but the kitchen too was small. Not much larger than a cupboard, she felt she needed a bit of fresh air. She had heard the shouting and had now come to see what was going on. Where else are they to play? She challenged Janko. Anywhere but in my ear, replied Janko. I have a headache. We have to learn to share the space we have, said Monica. How do you think they feel when you keep them up all night with your snoring? I wouldn't know about that, said Janko. Snorting? I'm asleep at night. So how would I know what my snoring sounds like? Well, I can tell you, replied Monica, like a buffalo running through here. The children try to muffle their giggles. Muffle, wrap or cover for warmth. Giggles, laugh lightly and repeatedly in a silly way. I can see and hear you very well, said Janko looking at them out of the corner of his eyes. The giggling stopped abrupt, abruptly, abruptly, suddenly, and then started again with their mother winked, winked close and open eye quickly. She seemed to be on their side. Monica shook her head, smiled at the children, and returned to the kitchen. Anton took out his deck of cards and seating himself at the dining table began to shuffle them noisily 
Lona found her rag doll and began to talk to it on the floor. Cho, what you been do in these days? She chipped, holding the doll aloft. Jago sighed and opened his newspaper again. After a few moments, he threw it aside, rose from his chair, and made for the front door. That's enough," he said loudly, opening the door. "Monica, I am going to see why is Eva in the village. Perhaps she can help me with my problem. I'll be back for dinner." Before Monica could come out of the kitchen or reply, Django had stepped outside and slammed the door. Django ambled, ambled, walk or move at a slow. Django ambled. towards the village muttering messaging his temples and kicking stones as he went janko ampled towards the village muttering massaging his temples and kicking stones as he went soon janko arrived at a pretty cottage adorned adorned make more beautiful adorned with purple and orange bougainvillea bougainvillea an ornamental shrubby climbing plant he straightened his jacket then knocked on the door eva was small like his wife but much older her white hair parted in the middle and flowing over her shoulders made her look a little like a witch all she needed was a clock and a broom to complete the picture she now appeared smiling in the doorway come in come in janku she said jovially jovially in a very friendly and pleasant way opening the door wider what a pleasant surprise good evening eva mumbled janku forlornly it's been a long while Yes, a long time indeed," agreed Eva, showing him to an armchair in her cozy living room. "Did you sort out the problem with your vegetable patch?" "Yes, yes," replied Janko. "Thanks to your advice, the birds have stayed well clear of the garden ever since." "Good," said Eva with a kind smile. "And what can I do for you today?" Your expression tells me there is something on your mind, Janko. Well, there is a Eva sad. Janko gazed at the embers in the fire. I am not a wealthy man, Eva. I have barely enough to feed my family. However, I simply can't go on like this. Go on like what? Asked Eva, settling down. My house is too small. Cried Janko. The lack of space is driving me mad. The children are noisy. My ma- wife snores at night when cars rumble past. Rumble, roll, rumble past on the road. The crockery rattles. How I long for some space and some peace. Well, I never exclaimed Eva. You have a lovely house. Yes, yes," agreed Janko. "It's nice, but I wish it were bigger and quieter, like Michael's mansion down the road. Ah, but I could never afford a house like his in a million years. Michael's house is large, I must admit," agreed Eva. "But you should be happy where you are. What can you do for me, Eva?" asked Janko. How can you make my life better? I am not happy. Eva gazed silently, gazed, looked steadily and intensely. Eva gazed silently at the fire for a while before turning to face Janko. You must do exactly say as I say, she said. Do you agree? Sure, said Janko, hope rising in his eyes. Without question. asked eva yes without question replied janko well then said eva if i remember correctly you keep a cow and several other animals in the small barn at the bottom of your garden that's right 
said Janko, looking a little astonished. Well, said Eva, I want you to go straight home and move, move them all into your house. Janko started at her disbelievingly. Janko st stared at her disbelievingly. But, but, he stuttered. No, but, no, nothing, said Eva abruptly. You promised, now go. Janko rose slowly. He said nothing further, but nodded his head and left the cottage. Monica, Anton and Lona were most surprised when Janko told them on his return to wait a while before dinner and scuttled off to the bar. They stood and watched August as he brought into the little house first the geese followed by the chickens then the two goats and finally the cow. They have to stay here with us, announced Janko. Ava told me to do this. The children were amused and excited to be sharing their home with animals. But Monica thought her husband had left his senses somewhere on his walk. For some days the house was in turmoil. Turmoil, a state of great disturbance, confusion. At night, Janko's snoring was the least of their problems. Nobody got any sleep because of the constant noise and movement in the house. One morning after a particularly noisy and restless night, Janko rubbed his eyes and announced, I am going to see Eva again. At Eva's house, Janko held his head in his hands and wept. Why are you? are putting me through all this cried janko the whole family is upset with me we cannot sleep and we fight all the time the noise is deafening deafening the noise is deafening have you ever kept a cow ducks and other animals in your room it's hell i tell you eva smiled yes it is hell she said softly well then janko now I want you to go straight home and move all the animals back to the bath. No words, just do it. Janko returned to his house and did as he was told. He, Monica and the children spent the rest of the day cleaning up the mess made by the animals. After the house was back to normal, Janko stretched out in his armchair. The children played noisily with their toys in one corner. Monica clattered pots and pans in the kitchen. Ah, sighed Janko and thought to himself, how nice it is, the sound of my wife and children in the background. Plenty of room too. Home sweet home. Now come to the exercises. Comprehension. 1. Answer the following questions. A. What were the children doing in the house? Answer. The children were playing their musical instruments in the house. B. What were Monica and Janko doing at this time? Answer. At this time, Janko had been trying to read the newspaper and Monica had been in the small kitchen. C. What effect did the children's music have on Janko? Answer. The children's music had given Janku a headache and made him irritable. D. In what ways did Monica show that she was on the side of the children? Answer. Monica showed that she was on the side of the children by winking at them and by making a joke. E. What made the children giggle? Answer. Monica's description of Janku's Snoring made the children giggle. F. How had wise Eva helped Janku before? Answer. Wise Eva had helped Janku before by giving him advice about how to keep the birds out of his garden. G. What did Eva look like? Give a full description of her. Answer. Eva was small like his Janku's wife but much older. Her white hair parted in the middle and flowing over her shoulders made her look a little like a witch. 
All she needed was a clock and a broom to complete the picture. She probably also looks friendly because she smiles. H. Did Janko tell Eva a lie about his wife? What was it? Answer. Yes. He says that his wife snores. I. How did Janko feel after the animals were removed from the house? Answer. Janko felt good after the animals had been removed from the house. He was able to appreciate his home and his family. These questions are more difficult to discuss them first. J. What statements and clues are there to indicate that the house was indeed small? Answer. Statements and clues that indicate the, that the house was indeed small, the cupboard in the room, the kitchen too was small, not much larger than a cupboard, the crockery rattles when a cart goes past, and the fact that the children are kept awake by Janko's snoring. K. What was Janko's real problem and how did Eva sort it out? How do you think she solved his first problem? Answer. Janko's real problem was that he could not appreciate what he had. I was solved Janko's problem with birds coming into his garden. Answer the following questions with reference to context. A. Anywhere but in my ear. 1. Who said these words? Answer. Janko. 2. What question is the speaker answering? Answer. Where else are they to play? 3. What noise is the speaker accused of making and when? Answer. Snoring all night. B. Your expression tells me there is something on your mind. 1. Who is the speaker and to whom are the words addressed? Answer. Why is Eva to Janku? 2. What kind of expression did the person have? Answer. He looks forlorn. 3. What was on the person's mind? Answer. He wishes that he had a bigger house so that he could have some space and some peace. B. Working with words. Use these words and phrases in sentences of your own. A. Being obedient. Being obedient to to our parents and teachers brings success to our life. B. Irritable. She was irritable when she was unhappy. C. Like a buffalo. When they were preparing to have a buffalo dance, they had an object that looked like a buffalo. D. Abruptly. He pulled back abruptly with shocked eyes. E. Ambled. He turned and ambled to the driver's side of his car. F. Particularly noisy. George gave a long, particularly noisy sign and turned, pointing out a window. G. Barely enough. I earned barely enough before the reforms. H. In a million years. Never in a million years did we expect anything like this. I. Exactly. He knew exactly where to look. J. Disbelievingly. Her gaze remained on him disbelievingly. 2. Write the opposites of the following. A. Imprecisely. Exactly. B. Sadly. Jovially. C. Quietly. Loudly. D. Disobedient. Obedient. E. Unkindly. Softly. Kind. F. Worse. Better. G. Dirting. Cleaning up. H. Abnormal. Normal. I. Foreground. Background. J. Shrank, stretched, K, un, 
excited excited l disagree agree m ugly pretty and gradually quickly o started stopped three find two or more meanings for each of the following use your dictionary a drumming noun a percussion instrument sounded by being struck with the hands or sticks verb playing on a drum b clanging noun the loud resonant metallic sound or series of sounds verb making or causing to make a clang c fresh adjective of food recently made or obtained not tinned frozen or otherwise preserved adverb newly recently d noise noun a sound especially one that is a loud or unpleasant or that causes disturbance noun random fluctuations that obscure or do not contain meaningful data or other information e a loft adverb up in or into the air overhead adverb up the mast or into the rigging of a ship f movement noun a very brief period of time noun an exact point in time g holding noun an area of land held by lease verb grasping carrying or supporting with one's arms or hands h home noun a place where one lives the native habitat a headquarters the startling position i pretty adjective of a person especially a woman or child attractive in a delicate way adverb to a moderately high degree fairly j problem noun matter or situation regarded as unwelcome or harmful and needing to be dealt with and overcome in chess an arrangement of pieces in which the slower has to achieve a specified result c learning about language 1 find the direct and indirect objects in the sentences mark them as follows verb and direct object a samir told us a story last night told verb a story direct object b my uncle sent me a calendar for christmas sent verb a calendar direct object c the lady showed her son the presents showed verb the presents direct object the builder built bill a building built verb a building direct object e when the principal left the school the teachers gave him a clock left verb gave verb the school a clock direct object f please bring me a bunch of roses bring verb a bunch of roses direct object 2 pick out the adverbs in the following sentences and say whether the adverb tells us where when how or how often the action of the verb takes place a he looked carefully at the little animal and decided it was not hurt carefully adverb it tells us how he looked b my friends are arriving tomorrow by bus adverb tomorrow it tells us when c he ran here and there but could not find his brother adverb here and there it tells us where d the carpenter has just finished making the table adverb just it tells us when 
E. The car went up the hill so very slowly that even the pedestrians overtook it. Adverb slowly. It tells us how. F. Please come now or we shall miss the bus. Adverb now. It tells us when. G. She placed the clock above the photograph yesterday. Adverb yesterday. It tells us when. 3. Add interesting adverbs to the following. A. Cuff. Noisily. Loudly. Rudely. Discreetly. B. Creep. Silently. Stealthily. Surreptuously. Sneakily. C. Leave. Immediately. Abruptly. Unwillingly. D. Stand. Easily. Uneasily. Upright. Proudly. E. Balance. Carefully. Acrobatically. F. Imitate. Perfectly. Expertly. G. Punish. Severely. Unreasonably. Harshly. Lightly. H. Whisper. Quietly. Secretively. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.